Hey, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back or welcome to the Ultimate Tech Hub. Today, we're gonna show you how to install the RTX 3080 Ultra. <laughs> Today, we're gonna show you how to install the RTX 3080 Ultra. We're also gonna show you how to install the GeForce Experience and update the game ready drivers. And they'll even play my favorite game. And guys, make sure to give a thumbs up if you like this video and hit subscribe, it's completely free. All right, let's go ahead and open the box. So you're probably curious, why did we choose the RTX 3080 Ultra 10 gig model? Well, it was the price, the 4K video, and uh, did I say the price? And it looks freaking cool without being too big. That's what she said. <laughs> Especially with the RGB. And with the RTX 3080 Ultra, you can achieve very high frame rates. This model has three fans and it stays cool and quiet. And once again, it wasn't too expensive. Who is this heavy? This is heavy. Wow. It does come with a retention bracket. Ah, uh, she's beautiful. You get one HDMI and then uh, three display ports. And here's the power connections. Very nice, three fans. So now it's time to install the RTX 3080 and we're gonna install it in the top PCIe 4.0 slot. So first, remove both of these screws right here. Then go ahead and push the RTX 3080 firmly into the PCIe 4.0 slot. We hear a snap. Then connect the RTX 3080 to the back of the PC case using those two screws we just removed. And the last step is the power connections. All right, next are the extension cables. I didn't uh, mention these in the beginning of the video, but I did buy these after I started doing the video. And it's 35 bucks for these awesome white extension cables. They're really cool, it's gonna go with the theme of this build. So, can't go wrong with that. And this is Antec. And like I said, $35, they have different colors. So now connect the two eight pin connectors and these are actually six plus two connectors. And then run the power cables behind the computer and then connect them to the eight pin connectors coming out of the power supply. Then turn on the computer and you're ready to go. And now we'll download and install the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And then we can update our drivers. And after that, it's time to play some Fallout 4. And we'll check our frame rates. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be amazing. So first, let's go ahead and play Fallout 4. At the top left corner of the screen, you can see the frame rate. Same with the top right. We're pretty much locked in to 60 frames per second, and the gameplay is pretty smooth. How well your GPU performs here also depends on your CPU and your RAM. We're running 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM with a 12th gen i7, so we're looking pretty good. And just a heads up, we're not overclocked here at all just our base settings. At 60 FPS, this game is great. Man, it took a while to kill that ghoul, gosh. And time for a reward. So now let's go ahead and play some Counter-Strike. And you can see the FPS is very high. We're talking about 295 to 330 FPS. And that's pretty insane. I'm not very good at Counter-Strike. And at this frame rate, it goes by quick. Everything is fast. Even the smallest movement is so quick, but it does look great. And just a heads up, this is not me playing right here. I'm pretty bad at this game, which you're gonna find out in a minute. Uh, this is me right here. <laughs> I need to practice, that's for sure. But as you can see with Fallout 4 getting 60 FPS and Counter-Strike getting over 300 FPS, this GPU is amazing. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to watch this video right here. This is our $2,000 RTX 3080 desktop PC build guide. It's an amazing video, so make sure to watch it. So guys, don't forget, like, share, comment, subscribe, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace. Today, we're gonna show you how to install the RTX 3080 <laughs> Ultra.